How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another news and updates with Ronan 47R. Uh, today is September 25th, 2015, and it's been a little bit of time since we last spoke. Apologize for that. I've been under the weather. Uh, in fact, I'm still a little bit under the weather. Uh, you probably can't notice, but uh, anyways, it's been uh, quite the struggle to get the time and the effort and energy to get back on track. So um, pretty much shook it, and here I am. So let's go ahead and get caught up. I have the Xbox, um, not 360, <laughs> I have the Xbox One here on another monitor on the TV itself, and uh, I am ready to play. But before I do, um, I would feel kind of bad if I did not jump in here and get caught up on the news and updates for you. Now, granted, I know this is a bit late uh, as far as things uh, coming out <laughs> since the last time I shared it with you, but you know what? Life happens. Um, what can I say? All right, well, uh, the last time we met, um, I honestly did not look before starting the filming of this, the recording, um, but my understanding is it was uh, it was back here. Uh, there was some September long uh, bundles. Um, X Factor weekend, I, I believe we did touch on that, uh, and that was, uh, you know, regarding the, uh, you know, the tier 10, um, you know, so that that's come and gone. Um, you know, speaking of tier 10, uh, for those of you that are interested in that, there is something down the line that you may have noticed in the news uh, for tier 10s, a tier 10 league. Over here in Community Heroes number 33, uh, let's take a quick gander at this. And uh, so I'm just taking a quick glance here. No, you know what? Actually, I do not recognize this. So I, <laughs> I'd like to say I have not seen this yet. So there it is. All right. Well, very cool. I'm just kind of skimming and scanning uh, very quickly uh, for us so we can get back on track. And um, I'll talk to you more uh, in the next video uh, that I'll be I'll be filming it in moments, but you won't hear it for a little while. Um, but anyways, just keep an ear out for that. I like this, by the way. See how the shell is coming out? Um, looks kind of like a football. It's kind of funny. Season kickoff. Um, and I, by the way, I don't know if any of you saw on my uh, the last tweet I sent out regarding a jersey. Um, that's all I'm going to say. So hopefully you saw that picture. Uh, taking a look at this, I believe we did see this um, earlier because uh, I remember mentioning the uh, the Sexton one. So that uh, that did come and go. And then coming over here, uh, Wargamer returns to well Sweden. Um, over here in Sweden, you can see there's a lot of military vehicles on display. And uh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Um, so there's some information there. I'd love to go to that place someday. I'd like to go to all the museums. That'd be really cool. Uh, Wargaming.net returning to uh, First Look 2015 in Utrecht. I don't know. <laughs> Yay. All right. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, my pronouncing uh, there. So pretty cool. And just taking a quick look there. So if you are in that neck of the woods, um, go for it. <laughs> uh, Community Heroes number 34. And I'm just blasting this thing. I'd like to uh, to play. Now, um, so I glanced at this and uh, not familiar with that clan. So don't have much to say. This one actually looks like a... Uh, doesn't that look like Wizard Ken stuff? Well, there it is. Okay. So I'm glad to see him being featured. Excellent. Because that is uh, his style there. The first impressions, he likes to do those. And then we got some models. And uh, some more uh, screenshots. So cool. All right. Very cool. Uh, World of Tanks coming to PlayStation 4. Um, this was something that I, well, I'm not going to say I knew about it to PlayStation, PlayStation 4, but this was something we've been talking about, um, uh, Club Wargaming uh, and some other friends and whatnot. Uh, as soon as the uh, the Twitter account switched to, instead of uh, World of Tanks Xbox, um, they went ahead and switched to uh, console. Uh, we, we knew this one was coming. Didn't know which console, but, you know, not surprised. So I'm happy for them. I mean, great, good for the company, um, and it's good for us uh, in, in that we have a larger community, although we may or may not be intersecting and talking. But for those uh, friends of ours that have PlayStation, they have the opportunity to play. And, um, you know, it just brings more people into the world of awesome, fun tanking. Battle of Aircourt, discounts at Ops. So this thing was going on uh, the 18th through the 21st. It has come and gone. I love these shots. 
And uh, so there are some good things to take advantage of there. Looks like they changed the look a little bit there for the uh, the news. On track to the M48 Patton, I remember seeing this. Uh, this was where you can, as well with any other um, on track, uh, anything in that line, you get some type of special um, bonus or, or opportunity uh, to help you um, go up that line. And you can see this is still going on through October 2nd. So if you're like me, uh, in my case, I'm at the Pershing, which is a tier eight medium American tank. And I still have two more uh, tiers to go. So I may be uh, playing that one, but uh, it's a secret as to what the first tank I'm gonna be playing tonight. You can probably guess, but <laughs> you'll see it. What would you do? Anyways, um, over here inside the tanks, uh, the Muckleberg collection. And you can see over here they have uh, a video and uh, some information. Uh, anything historical, uh, very cool. Um, in my opinion, you, you just can't get more awesome than what has actually happened. Nothing uh, created has ever been created in a vacuum, you know, even if it's fiction based on something. Uh, this is something I noticed here. It says, uh, brought to you by Jinx. So they have a, a, apparently a close relationship, uh, Jinx, with many uh, video game companies. And uh, with World of Tanks, you can see here they are sponsoring and bringing this into play. So it's kind of cool because if you want to get some swag, some uh, some merch uh, for World of Tanks, you can head uh, head over here, you know, and check them out. So, anyways, you can see here there is a contest for the Tier Ten lovers, lovers of Tier Ten. You have a place to show off your uh, Tier Tenness. All right, update 2.2, Relentless Duo of Destruction. Um, well, I mean, basically in short, it's kind of old news now um, because we can, instead of seeing it being advertised, we can really just uh, experience it in real life now. But basically there are some you know, new uh, German artilleries uh, coming out or came out. And uh, there's some information that goes with it, historically speaking, which is cool. I'm just blasting through it, but I would absolutely read that if you are interested in the connection to history. And uh, coming over here, Community Heroes uh, number 35. All right, so here you have uh, another video. Um, I have, I'll be honest, I have not checked this one out, but I'm curious to see what the heck are you talking about? Um, I wish there was the name of the person who put the video um, like it used to be next to the video so I can identify who's putting it up there because uh, here's an example of uh, the PZ S35 working the bowl on Prokhorovka, if I am not mistaken, I have not clicked play, but if I'm not mistaken, this is our good friend, Pontiac Pat. And there's that darn window, get out of here. Oh, look at that sweet, he made that? That is rad, huh? Cause it says creation, but that looks pretty, pretty cool. Well, maybe it's a model and then, you know, you just assembled it versus having to fabricate the pieces. But either way, that is very, very cool. My hat goes off to you. Cool drawing, very cool stuff. And of course, got some screenshots there. Nice work, everybody. Still getting used to seeing this, uh, <laughs> these two consoles up here in the corner. It's like our family is growing. All right, so clicking on the 2.2. Uh, and no, I am not even gonna attempt to, uh, to say that. <laughs> so here you go, you have Ah, here you go. Check this out. This is what I've been having my eye on. Wow, a tier eight. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is going to be a fun thing to go after. I cannot wait to get my hands on that. That'll be fun. But enough of that. We must move on. All right, so over here, uh, Wargaming Player Rally. Now, this is over in Fountain Valley. Um, I'm in San Diego, California, so that might be doable. I don't know. I've been invited to the uh, World of Warships uh, launch party. Actually, that would be tonight. <laughs> um, obviously, I did not make it, sadly enough, but I do appreciate the official invitation. All right, so coming over here to update 2.2, Strike Force is live. So obviously, they're announcing now that it is live. And again, just kind of recapping, um, you know, the three, well, that didn't help, did it? Uh, but the three new tanks. Uh, but there's also something else that is new, and that is the BTSV. Uh, and when they say never, you know, never before released or whatnot, we're, we're always talking about the console. Um, in this case, the Xbox One. 
Uh, they're not talking about the PC. Because if memory serves, uh, this was actually a gift to the, uh, the, the beta testers uh, of the PC. So that goes way, way, way back in the day. Um, very, very rare tank. Uh, even in, in, in PC. Um, as for here, I really hope they do keep it rare. Um, I, I personally think it would be, you know, as much as you'd like to make money off of it, I, I feel it'd be a travesty to take rare tanks and uh, offer them too often. Strike Zone Weekend, uh, this was posted yesterday. And so obviously they're just prepping us for another uh, fun weekend uh, with a theme. And you can see here, uh, it's going from the 25th to the 28th, you know, specifically the weekend. And they just have some things going on here for us, different types of uh, operations and, and missions and that sort of thing. And then, let's see, scrolling, 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 uh, you can see here, uh, ending the second. And again, I stress, not that they'll, you know, listen to me, <laughs> um, but I really hope that they keep the rare tanks rare. Over here, you have the 38H, very fun tank. And then you have the, uh, the AT-15A. So there you go. Those are bundles, bundles, bundles inside the tanks. And this is the M5 Stuart. Uh, by the way, M5 Stuart, very, very nice tank. Um, I actually like that better than the, uh, the Chaffee. But then again, I do like the lower tiers. And then you can go ahead and see here um, uh, videos, information, um, you know, speaking to those particular tanks from a real life perspective by the Challenger. So there it is. Let's go ahead and click on the news again. And uh, yeah, you were all caught up on that. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this thing down. Um, I will go ahead and edit, prep it, and uh, send it on its way uh, either today or um, tomorrow morning. Um, but I want to hurry up and take advantage of what little time I do have and jump over to the, uh, the, uh, the console there and actually play some games, you know? Um, I've been trying to think about how I'm going to go ahead and take care of this lack of time. And I think I'm going to go for, if you haven't noticed, I'm going to go for fewer videos released less often. Um, but with the attempt and the hope that, um, you know, focusing on quality and, and good stuff that I'm, that I'm sharing. Uh, versus trying to rush uh, with what little time I do have and try to get something out every single day. I, I just can't do it with, uh, you know, working uh, 10 and a half, 11 hours a day. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bid you fair adieu. Remember, you are now caught up on the news and updates with Rona 47R, and I will catch you later. Now, where did my crew go off to? Oh, I see. There they are. Okay, girls, tell them who they are if they're receiving this transmission. You are one of the 47, 47 Ronin. Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.